to the Beginner's Guide to the Solo Slash Warrior role. I'm redoing this series because I feel I can do a lot better, and someone mentioned that the music was too loud, and it's based on how I've been recording these, it's going to be too loud across the board. Uh, so we're going to just re-record this and the Jungle one, especially since I could have done a lot better of a job on the Jungle one, so we'll re-record these and uh, just do a better job. So with Solo Lane... Contrasting with the support role, you are really looking to build a combination attack and defense because your ultimate goal in the late game is to be a sort of jack-of-all-trades, be what your team needs you to be. Oftentimes this will require you to either replace the assassin if when they die or replace the support if when they die in a team fight. So it really does depend upon what your team needs, how good the other players are. And, you know, which role is having a hard time, which role is not having a hard time. This is an interesting debate here with the support. There we go, yeah. It was a good choice. The Aphrodite is actually a good choice in that situation, because if you don't know whether you're mid or your support, she works well on either role. So it was actually a pretty good decision there. But, uh, yeah, so your first couple of items are going to really be chosen, pardon me, chosen specifically against your landing opponent, whoever that happens to be. I'm probably going to be against King Arthur, but I'm not 100% sure. So, whenever you play solo and you're picking out your first items, do not build any protections right off the top. What you're going to do is you're going to get your starter item, I'm going to choose Bluestone in this case, and then you're going to get... Why do I not have consumables in this? Alright, still. We're gonna get our chalice, and then we're gonna grab mana potions, and then we're gonna grab our teleport, and we're gonna save up the rest of our cash for whatever happens to occur. Now, I got individual mana potions rather than the chalice because, quite honestly... Oh, I'm going on the wrong side. Because, quite honestly, I can save those up for if my mana buff is stolen later on in the game, or if I just need a little bit of extra mana and I don't necessarily want the restore, I do have the bluestone pendant. Now again, I am anticipating seeing King Arthur as my landing opponent. That remains to be seen exactly if that's going to be specifically true. Um, but we're going to just kind of farm around. We're not really going to... Your first goal in... Sub the... Sub uh, the solo lane is to farm. You don't really need to kill the enemy. If you can just get them low enough to either force them to back or play under tower, that's often good enough. It's denial of gold and experience. Uh, just the same. So that's really what you're looking for there. You don't need the kill. Obviously, you want to poke them out if you can. You know, poke them whenever you can get away with it. But you don't necessarily need to actually eliminate them. That's not strictly necessary. He's going to be a little bit early because he's got... Technically, more abilities available to him. Yeah, he's going to try poking it now. And I'm not going to really be able to do anything about that because he's just got more abilities at this point in time. And I'm just going to have to kind of hang back and wait. See, he's already accomplished his goal, but that's just inherent to the nature of King Arthur here. I did not know I could interrupt that move with that with that form. That's interesting. He's going for the, the damage right now. He's going for the poke. But now he's going to lose because I've got minions and he does not. Oh, so he's made a mistake. Now he dies. You'd never want to fight into a minion wave like that. You never want to fight into a minion wave. Even the three archers in the early game up until like even level five are often enough to get you killed a lot of the time. So with this golden opportunity, I'm just going to go ahead and absolutely wipe the wave. He Does he have teleport? He does not. He has blink. Okay, that's actually a huge benefit to me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clear this uh, harpy, and then we're going to see what he comes back with item-wise. We're going to slowly kill this harpy. Alright, now let's take out one more wave and then figure out what he's got. I'll probably want to back because he is going to have an item advantage over me. Alright. 
Yeah, see, how, look how much damage he's taking from minions, even though he's level... Even at level 3 here. Yeah, see, he's not going to want to fight that. What did he pick up? He picked up brown shield right away. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, he's off to go get his mana buff. I don't need that quite yet, so I'm actually going to clear this wave. And then I'm going to go clear my mana buff. I might go and leave... Oh, no, I don't... As well... I think I can actually kill him if I get this, because I should hit level 5 after this. And that'll give me all of the restoration I need. I'm going to use a single mana potion here, even with the um, boost from my buff here. Is he honestly fighting that? He is. Interesting. Take out the wave here. He can have that for now. I don't really mind. So you'll notice he went in again, and he almost died there. And now I've actually just won another fight, because that's that's good enough, honestly. Does he have any more? He has one more use of his chalice, so we're going to save the 72 transformations here to kill him when I need to. We're going to go ahead and activate a single mana potion here. We're going to go ahead and take this out so we can heal up. Compete with him. I'm trying to stay... You know, I'm trying to stay in lane as long as possible. Oh, he really needed to hit that. Although the fact that he interrupted my ability is pretty pretty bad. Yeah, he did kill me there. Uh, the interrupt on my 72 transformations was a pretty big deal there. Alright, so I have a couple of options at this particular point in time. I could go for Soul Eater. I could go for Glad Shield. I might go for Soul Eater, because that's very powerful on Sun Wukong. We're going to go right on ahead and actually do that. There we go. Having a little bit of trouble actually getting that uh, teleport to go. Alright, so he hasn't really got enough to necessarily prevent us from doing a lot of damage here, so we're just going to try to build these stacks as quick as possible. Excellent. Okay, he's taking that. That's fine. We're going to go back for our mana buff, because it's going to be up pretty soon. Oh, we're a little early, but that's okay. He's probably going to come back with the full shield, which is what I'm going to be building next. Alright. Excellent. And then we're just going to come in here and clear these out. I have my ult, so I don't really particularly care how much damage he's doing to me right now. As you can clearly tell. I'll let him have those, that's fine. That was interesting. I can't decide if he did that intentionally as a dodge, or if he thought I was going to go that way. I'm not really sure. That was a very interesting move. But right now I have... Uh, the dominance of the lane, so I don't really mind whatever he does. Oh, I missed that. That's okay. He at least didn't interrupt it. And I still have my ult as well. I'm gonna go ahead. I didn't really technically need to use that, all things considered, but that's fine. Nope. A single shot isn't gonna really matter that much. I don't entirely know why Everdetti's over here. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why she's here. We're gonna go for this? That's fine. We have the time for it. I also don't know why Arachne is over there, but that's not really my problem at this point in time. She's gonna get killed, though. I need to go back over here and defend my lane. It looks like I'll lose a minion. Or two. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not really sure what they're doing in mid there. Uh, no, we'll get this first. Good enough. My minions will wipe out those minions. There we go. Get this. What did he come back with? He has full glide shield. Alright. 
but pretty soon I'll have full soul eater, well, fully stacked soul eaters, so I'm not too concerned. Let's see if we can grab this really quick. Yeah. I'm gonna let the minions fight a little while. While I drop this. There he is. Again, I still have my ult, so I'm not too concerned about this. At this point, the minions aren't a huge deciding factor, but... Okay, that's actually good that he used that there. And I'm just gonna let myself heal up here, because once I come back down, I'm actually gonna be able to probably take a lot of minions with me. Boom. There we go. And... Poke. Oh, hello. Get out of my way. It was a nice try. It was a very cute try. I should be okay, though. Yeah, you really can't compete with me at this point, can you? Ah, there you go. I'm not sure why Arachne ignored that. She really should have come in on that. Now I'm going to want Glad Shield. I'll probably at some point want Transcendence as well, to be completely honest. At least she picked up uh, Thor, which is nice, but she still should have been there earlier. That's something you're going to have to keep an eye out as you play solo, is a lot of times the jungler is going to come in and try to just whack you. Uh, I would buy wards, but honestly, with Thor, that's not really going to make a difference. She overstayed that, too. Although I can understand why he was pretty close. We're actually not going to need much. I know I don't have my mana buff, but that's fine. I was hoping I could catch up to him, but nope. I was hoping he would at least react and then cancel his own back, but he did not fall for that. It's an old trick, but the hope is there. Although now I have Soul Eater fully stacked, which is quite useful. I'm actually going to slow clear this. I want to conserve my mana. I don't have my mana buff up right now. So we're going to slow clear this. There we go. I'm going to actually poke him really quick here. What do you have now? Oh, you're going for Void Shield. Interesting. Now it's fine with doing that because right now I have my ult. So, oh, okay. Good old subtle uh, Thor over there. Gotta be ready to press my ult whenever I need it. Interesting. Yeah, see, I haven't used this yet. Alright. Gonna go ahead and use this. Gonna use this. He's going for his mana buff right now, so what we're going to do is this, this, and I think we'll quickly clear this as well. I think, yeah, this should be fine. He tried. I thought for sure he was going to come in on that. They didn't even think about my mana buff. All right. Interesting. I clearly am not going in the directions they're predicting. I still got whacked, though. Rackney's late again, but that one's not so much her fault. She's never going to be able to outgank Thor, honestly. She can counter gank just fine, but with his ult the way it is, that's just not going to happen. he You'll notice, though, that Thor has been focusing on me now in the late game when he wasn't before in the early game. And the reason why is because King Arthur's been losing to me, and they really can't afford that. You'll also notice I've almost taken, actually, with Arachne having cleared that wave, the minions should be able to take that tower by themselves. That frees me up to go gank middle lane, which is what they've been trying to avoid for a good while now. Oh, no, it looks like uh, King Arthur got back just in time, which is all right. I'm going to go ahead and probably clear at least one of the harpies here to make sure that I catch up to him because he is level 13 right now because I've been ganked by Thor twice. Normally, you would want to ward pretty heavily. I haven't needed to, again, with Thor, 
It's just more difficult to do. You may live longer with them gone. Yeah. I would normally take the engagement, but I don't have my mana buff and he does. Which is not going to work out for me at this point in time. He's not defending this, though, which is very silly of him. Here he comes. I'm wondering if you'd think about this. Well, my mana buff is almost up, so I can go on ahead and come back here. Clear this. Wave. I'm not sure he knows that my mana buff is about to drop. If he doesn't, then I'm pretty good. I'm in great shape. He doesn't seem to be aware. That was a miss. I was too busy looking at him, and I didn't use my ability in, at the correct time, but that's okay. Right now, I'm just farming. Once I get my ultimate back, I can just waltz into his tower and just take that, honestly. That's not really going to be a huge problem. Okay, he just cleared those harpies. I'm not really sure what that was about again. Oh, you're back, huh? Alright. He already used his stun, though. So now I just got to get out of here alive. He stopped chasing. Interesting. Good dodge. Alright. Now, how are we going to play this, huh, son? Their time has come. Their execution are determined. Yep, that's all I needed there. Clear this. If I had more mana, I'd chase him, but I don't have the mana for that. He does neither, to be honest, but... Did they kill Thor? They did not kill Thor. I'm not going back in then with... Uh, well, hmm. I probably can get away with it. Yeah, I can definitely get away with it. Right now, I win the HP war. Even with this in mind, I still win the HP war. Yeah, he's not gonna... I can poke him a little bit more, but that's about all I can do. I can grab this for the extra mana regen. He's not going to come back fast enough to prevent me from taking that, I don't think. Clear this wave really quick. And that's my tower. All mine. Okay, good. I'm going to clear this for the golden experience. Especially since they don't need me in mid right now, so that's going to be pretty nice. Heal up a little bit off of this. Take care of this, grab my mana buff. And then I'll probably want to teleport somewhere. Where specifically, I'm not sure. But I have enough for shifter's shield. Not shifter's shield. Void shield. Shifter's shield, what's wrong with me? Then I'll want to build some magic protections. Is he? He is not there. Okay. I'm not sure where he is. But I'll clear this wave really quick. To force him to come back and then I can keep an eye on him. Oh no, he's in mid lane right now. Hold on, we can actually go do something about that. He just used his ult on Sylvanas. Alright. Oh, wow, that's a lot of people over here. <laughs> you 
Clean. You may live longer with them gone. Good. Good play, good play. We got some good shots off there. Take these out before I die to them. Ah, does Bluestone kill him? That was close. Very nice. Oh! Scotty behind. That was devastating. That's okay. Do I actually want Void Shield? Yes, that's fine. Now I'm going to want some magic protections. Now, what I'm really leaning towards at this particular point in time... Hmm... Is... I'm kind of leaning towards Runic Shield for a little bit of power, a little bit of magic protections. I might go Ansley as well uh, for some cooldown on top of that. It would probably be really good. And then I'll probably finish up Bluestone and be in a really comfortable position. Give me a little bit of damage, give me a little bit of, uh... Well, no, actually, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go right into Genji's Guard. Finish off Void Shield here. That's a little bit better. Okay. Now, let me see. My final... I'm not really sure what I want as my final item at this point. Um... Am I going to need anti-heal? No, they don't have enough self-heal for that. That's fine. Um, hmm. I could go Heartseeker for some damage. I could go for Runic Shield anyways, or Ansley for some, others, some more useful stats. I don't want to fight him right now, because I don't know where anyone else is on the enemy team except for Vulcan. We just take their scorpion really quick. No, we cannot because no one cares. <laughs> Never mind then. All right. Rackney really being aggressive up here. Are we going to be doing this? Nope. Clear that. Scotty's on the other side there, which is fine. Interesting. Alright. He did kill Vulcan, which is interesting, but alright. This is going to be interesting. He tried. Fair enough. I'm not chasing that right now. I could go in there with my ult, but I really don't think that's a good idea at this time. She's going to die for that. She didn't even get it. Yeah, we, we don't want to fight this. He is going to catch up. At this point in time, I'm going to need to do something drastic. I'm not sure what. Can we take this really quick? Mm. Yeah, because they're all chasing Ho-Yi. Which makes sense. I'll take these really quick. It seems like just King Arthur is over here. I think we can kill him. I'm liking this less and less. <laughs> nope, not today, sir. All right, good. We turned that around. Got it. I had to play really aggressive there, but that's fine. Hi there. 
I mean, this is an easy kill right here on the Emir. I also forgot that uh, that's a mid lane Sylvanas. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not used to that idea. I mean, he's doing well. Considering that. I still need to get out of here. There we go. Interesting. We finished. There we go. I was going to say. You survived that. That was a good play. Good play by Thor. I'm dead. Yep, that was a good play. You timed that perfectly. Alright. Yeah, you know what? Looking at my stats, I am going to want Ansley here. That'll give me, I think, 40% exactly. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, yeah. And then this... Yep, that's fine. That'll give me a decent... When you're looking for a defense as a warrior, you want roughly 150. Just as a support generally wants around 200. As a solo, you generally are going to want to look towards 150 like here. If you go a little bit over or a little bit of, uh, under, that's fine. You definitely want at least 100. Although often that's not going to be enough. So... I wish I had slightly more power. Um, but that's fine. I'll get a little bit more power when I get bluestone. Yeah, they're making a smart move going for the fire giant there. At this particular point, considering Arachne's high risk, um, high reward scenario, um, probably I'm really looking a lot of the time to replace her. everyday has been doing pretty well surviving fights. Let me just finish this off here so I can grab level 20. Level 20, excellent. Okay. Now you'll notice I didn't bother with the mana buff. You'll, I have enough MP5 at this point where it's not supremely important for me to have that. It's completed. It's gone. <laughs> I just told you that guy. I need gold for rum. Uh, that's fine, okay. I need to get gold for my bluestone. Is this a gank? Again, I'm going to want to play like an assassin at this point because Arachne is very high risk. That is not a gank. I don't want to gank him. I also want to keep an eye on Ho Yi, who's pushing up left by himself. They will learn to fear you. Oh, this is a kill easy. Oh, he already got killed. Oh, the minion blocked me. That's fine. The, the minions will take that. That's alright. <laughs> alright. Good play, good play. She's the only real threat on the board right now. Because of her penetration. Nice job, Sylvanas. Nice job. Oh, I'm not going to be able to survive this. Good attempt. Oh, well, good save, actually, by everyone involved there. Good. I'm looking for Vulcan. Again, I'm, I'm kind of mentally going for the assassin play here. Very nice. That was genius. It was a good gank by Thor. Clear those out. Alright, good use of his beads there. I'm getting slapped, but that's fine. For now, anyways. Okay. Very nice. He's dead now. There we go. Perfect. Heal up off of this, actually. 
I don't know if she thought that was the real me or what that story was about, but all right. Good, good attack by Arachne there. Oh. Uh, no. Ah, uh, well. Now, you'll notice in that particular fight, I, I mentioned it during the fight a couple of times, but it bears repeating, that I was essentially going into the assassin mindset there. I was looking for the squishier targets to eliminate them, because that's what we really needed there. We didn't have Arachne for a lot of that fight, so I had to kind of take her place throughout that. We had Aphrodite for most of that fight, so I didn't really need to play a support, you know, tank role there. And that's ultimately what I was doing with that... That's ultimately why I was choosing to play that aggressively and fight that aggressively as well. I did have to back off a couple of times for some mild healing from Sylvanas and Aphrodite, but for the most part I was, yes, playing as an assassin. You'll notice that my stats are between 150 and 200 on both my power, my protections, well with the exception of my magic protection, which is a little low, but that's fine. Uh, they're roughly between those levels. That's about where you want to be stat-wise. I mean, the only... Uh, classes that really actually substantially use over 200 of any one stat or specialists. Uh, assassins, hunters, may oh well, mages are a slightly different scenario, but assassins and hunters typically go to 200 power or want to go to 200 power. Supports typically want to go to 200 or more protections. I mean, you really don't need all of that to be successful as a solo because, again, you are trying to be a jack of all trades. I don't know how that worked through the wall. I did not know I could hit him through the wall like that. That was a really well-timed jump by Ho Yi. And this is just, we straight up win here. Yeah, she saved his life too. I walked right into that for absolutely no reason, but that's fine. What I am going to do is surprise my boy here. Uh, nope. That did not work out the way I was hoping it would get rid of this dog really quick. There we go. Okay, good. And we won. Now, I was at least able to, in this fight, talk about, you know, what I was using here. I never did actually... Uh, the only thing I think I failed to explain was why I went with Void Shield. Um, Void Shield not only was boosting my damage output, but it was also boosting a majority of my allies' damage output as well. I'm going to talk about this very specifically here. Um... Since, you know, throughout the game I was mostly talking about... I mostly wanted to talk about my thought process um, and why I was making these decisions and explaining things that really are going on here. But the reason why I chose Void Shield is because we had three physicals. We had myself, Arachne, and Ho Yi. And obviously with the support Aphrodite, she doesn't have access to Void Shield. So it fell to me to build that for the benefit of the team, Right? Because Arachne gets benefits from that, and so does Hoi as well as myself. If we had a magic-heavy team, for example, let's say Ao Kuang was our jungler instead of Arachne, I would not have built Void Shield. I would have instead built probably Breastplate of Valor for the cooldowns, and then gone for um, bigger, you know, gone for pretty much the rest of that, except instead of... Um, Evolved Soul Eater, I might have gone for Transcendence in that scenario, right? Um, Gladiator's Shield was obviously, you know, you've got your bonus ability damage, which is particularly effective on Sun Wukong, by the way, because he does get a protection boost when he's uh, at a low amount of health, so this actually is very effective on Sun Wukong. That's more specific to Sun Wukong, which is why I didn't mention it specifically in match, is because I'm talking about general solo lane warrior gameplay, and that's very specific to Sun Wukong. Same thing with the Soul Eater, but the Soul Eater does provide some really nice sustain throughout the game. You can use anything, really. I did mention that I was getting a lot of MP5 from Genji's Guard, which is very important, um, very useful. The only reason I built Genji's Guard this late is because I needed the Void Shield for laning against King Arthur, right? He built Pestilence, but his... Based on our team comp, he actually needed it. We had Sylvanas healing, we had Aphrodite healing, Arachne has a self-heal, I have a self-heal, right? He built very well. He built extremely well, all things considered. Uh, he skipped over some kind, any kind of sustain for himself. I used Soul Eater. He could have done the same. I have seen King Arthur's build Soul Eater and do very well with that. Um, he decided to forego that for Glad Shield, Void Shield, Genji's Guard, basically a lot of what I did, but instead of building uh, Ansley... He built Pestilence because he actually needed the anti-heal. I mentioned it at 
midway through the game that I didn't need anti-heal. Vulcan has no self-heal. Scotty has Aussie, which was fine. Thor had no self-heal. King Arthur had no self-heal. Scotty was the only one doing any kind of self-healing, and quite frankly, with zero protections, she's pretty easy to take out, right? If you can get close enough to her. <laughs> if you can actually get in melee range um, and stay there with the ice and all. But that's really ultimately why I was making the decisions I was making. I did my best to explain those as time went on. Of course, I will also be doing a magic solo um, game as well, exemplify that. Um, but we're also really just laying down the basics here of what you want to be doing. Now, you'll also notice that I did build good old magic protections as well. And, yeah, I needed them, quite frankly. Vulcan was hitting pretty hard. Ymir can hit pretty hard, but I just wanted to be able to survive Vulcan. Um, and ultimately... That did help. And again, especially with Genji's Guard, you get that MP5, which is very important for warriors, for solo laners. But yeah, you will notice throughout that match, I was playing more of a replacement assassin role. And that's not necessarily for any other reason other than Arachne was... She played pretty well overall. Uh, her early game was rough, but Arachne always has a rough early game. Uh, but she wasn't consistently in the fights, so I had to kind of fulfill that role. This is actually ultimately why I wound up going for... Uh, Ensley instead of something a little bit heavier in protections um, or something along the lines of Caduceus shield or something like that um, Just something with a little bit more punch get me my capped uh, cooldown reduction But yeah, uh, that's this is basically how solo lane works. This is the kinds of things you want to be thinking about lightly I really didn't the I think the one thing that I wish this game had allowed me to talk about more was junglers again Thor isn't really someone that I can use as an example because his ult allows him to gank from farther away. He walked into the lane, I think, twice, but two of his ganks were from his ult, and it's just very difficult for anybody to really effectively counter that unless you ward way out there, and that takes more time than often you're going to have as a solo lane. You'll notice that when I won that fight with King Arthur in the early game before I got killed the first time, I was farming, 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 right? Which as I stated at the beginning, is something you really want to do. You don't necessarily, again, you don't necessarily need to kill the enemy solo lane in the early to mid game. You just need to force them out of the lane, force them under their tower, or force them to go back. It achieves very similar effects, so you don't need to kill them. You just need to get them low enough, and then from there, really dominate. You'll notice that even though King Arthur has a better score than I do, technically, he's got three less assists, he's got one more kill, and he's got one less death, I have about... I have almost 1,000 more gold than him. I was just able to win the fights in the early game. Even though I had a worse score, even though Thor was ganking me, I was still able, for the most part, except for that brief moment where he had my tower and I didn't take his, he was not able to outfarm me. I was just able to force him out of lane often enough in the early game that even in the mid game when he was doing better, that I still had enough farm ahead of time because of all of that time farming that I was able to just make a recovery and keep on going. And that's another thing that I'll ta be talking about a bit more. Um, I didn't really have an opportunity because I wasn't that far behind that it was really egregious, but you can really effectively make a comeback as a solo lane. Uh, you'll notice I broke even on my kill death and I was behind from the, uh, throughout most of the mid game, I would say. Uh, and that's just a matter of me having the farm to do so, right? If you're behind as a solo lane, that role is the most likely to be able to make a recovery. You are more likely to be able to make a recovery because your primary first half of the game is to farm. That is your primary purpose there. So with that being said, thank you all very much for joining me on this. And uh, of course, we'll have this whole redone series nice and quick um, and done with a bit more um, emphasis and leave some tips up for more advanced tips and tricks and stuff. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to talk more about junglers in the next episode because I'll be going back to Conquest, but I will be using a Guardian because those are very common to see in the solo lane and it's important to understand the differences there. But I wanted this down as a sort of groundwork for the classic solo experience. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. If you have any um, comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below and have a great 24 hours.